defensively, we have been decent. Do you know what I mean? And Chelsea been playing five at the back a lot. We don't, we ain't played five at the back. So when man's talking about your defense, you're playing five at the back and still losing. Not all the time. Games, um, we play four. We play four as well. Bro, listen, you see bro, when Tommy the, the formation that, changes in game. Bro, bro. you ma- bro, you flexible. motherfuckers bought like four defenders, blood. Matisse. Bro, Matisse, let's not pretend like you didn't buy a f- like. Bro, you've defenders, bought defenders like. in the last few years as well. You bought, bro, um, bro, bro in one Mal- window, Malassi- you, Malassi- bro, you Malassi- even tried Malassi- to sign a defender and load bro, him back. You've literally bro. spent Listen, money on Matisse. defenders. You relax, bought, man. Hey, Matisse, relax. You bought um, Matisse, Martinez. You bought Malassi- Matisse, relax. Bro, <laughs> Matisse, relax. <laughs> Matisse, relax. Did you man not try and buy a centre back and then loan him back to another team for 90 million? Bro, you man were loading up on defenders, bro. Bro, that was just a joke, man. That's practically Loading up on defenders, we're, we're about to get him for cheaper now, anyway. To play five to at the back, fam. Like, you've been <laughs> under Tommy Tukes. Most of the time you played five at the back. Don't tell me you didn't. You did. Yeah, Thomas Tuchel, yeah, but under Potter. Exactly, Pot, and that yeah, was at I'm the saying, start of the season. You're going to let like, Potter's been there for more than three games. Matisse, yeah, but we're talking, about, we're talking about now, innit? We're Matisse, talking about now. We're... relax. <laughs> This we're man's talking, talking to... about defensive record when man's been playing five at the back for most of the season. Come on. <laughs> but bro, you know but just because, just you play, but just because you play five at the back, it doesn't mean you're going to be good defensively. Chelsea was No, it doesn't, goals. but you've got an extra we, man we, there and you were still getting potted. That's the point. We were conceding. Yeah, we, that's what I'm saying. That's why, that's why I don't think... Like, I remember when Arsenal switched to a five at the back and they still got dealt with. I think it was last season at some point. Just because you yeah. play five at the back doesn't mean you're going to be good defensively. We lost to Leeds. We lost to Southampton. We were getting we were getting bounced about, but obviously this is this is a different team now, so it's different. It's a different manager, so we have to we have to leave all that to the side. That, that, mm. that, that yeah, and you're right; it's not about the formation; it's about the principles. But you know what? When you play five at the back, and you're not attacking, because Thomas Tuchel's team was not attacking, bro. You're not meant to concede goals like that because you're not no, it's coming true. up. It's true. It's true. You're not coming out. There's conceding shit goals as well. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Even that Tottenham game, bro. Shit goals, man. Are conceding with five at the back. <laughs> and, and that's the point, and that's the point, in it. So, as much as man are talking about Kula Bali, let's wait till the end of the season because I ain't been that impressed with him when I've watched him. That means mm-hmm. Thiago still looks better than him, and Thiago's an old man. I think Shit. I think Kula Bali's he'll, he'll he'll he's been good last couple of games, so I think he'll 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 step up now towards the end of towards the middle and end of the season. I think he just had a couple of rough patches. He has had a, fo- a few mm-hmm. bozo moments, but nah, I, I still I still think he's he's quality, man. I think he's he's been around too long to to be messing around. No, we'll see, to be honest, because there was a lot of hype with him. Like, we were linked with him before Harry Maguire. Everyone was talking about how good he is. And to be fair, since he's come to Chelsea, I don't I don't see it. I think he's a good player, but I don't see what people were quoting 90 million for. I don't see it. What, Kula Bali? He was only 34. Yeah. No, but they no, they were quoting 90 million at the time, bro. Like, was when they? we were... Well, this when season? We were, no, when we were linked with oh, Harry Maguire, oh. man mm. was saying, go and get Kula Bali, bro. And Napoli wanted 90 million. That's the reason yeah, why he stayed yeah. that long. But Napoli are wild. They always charge know, stupid money. But he don't look like, to me, he don't look like a top top centre back, bro. Like when I watch him play, he just looks good. He just looks solid. He don't look like any like he don't look impressive to me in it when I've seen him in it. Like he looks overrated on the ball and he looks a bit rash at times. But do you know what I mean? Maybe he's still adapting. I don't know in it. Do you know what I mean? The Fofana thing. He's out for a little while now as well, isn't he? Um, he's out for a few more weeks. Yeah, I think I think probably three four weeks. James is the one that I'm watching. That's I think that's one week max, but can't afford mm. for that guy to get injured. That's that's where when we he comes have... back. What happens mm. with what happens when um Fofana Fofana. comes back? Does he play? Um, I don't think he has to start, but he mm. he he he's competing with Trevor Chaloba for me at that right side centre back spot. So mm. they're both young. Obviously, one right centre back. I thought you played a four at the back, Matisse. What's going on? No, here? right side centre back in a four, fam. What, what, so Chalabin's <laughs> playing in the two? Now it, man's playing Chalabin in the two. <laughs> hey, that's risky, man. It, it depends on the situation. I said Chalabin, bro. Like, bro he's a he, played, league, he played bro. in you the two. He, he played on the two at the weekend with, with uh, Kulabali. You played back four. So it depends you. On, um, Wolves. <laughs> 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 Man, it, depends. Play a too, you know? <laughs> it depends on the day. Hey, it depends bro. on the day. It depends. It depends on the day. Do you know what I mean? But sometimes it's a, it depends on on the moment in the match. If we're off the ball, I think it goes into a three. If we're on the ball, sometimes it goes to a four. It's yeah. just fluidity, flexibility. It's what we want to see. Do you know what I mean? All the F's. No, I hear that. Now listen, Graham Potter is a good coach, man. I'll be honest. He's a good. He's a good coach, man. Like Chalabar mm. played in a back three for most of the games he played for Chelsea. Under two call. That's so when they're saying he hasn't lost and that I hear that he's been playing in freeze for most of them. You, you got these man calling him the Senegalese Squalachi. You man are gonna pay for it. 
<laughs> you man are gonna pay for that. I'm telling you, you man are gonna pay for that. You're Bro. underrating Kula Valley, fam. You're underrating yeah. Kula Valley. You man are gonna pay for yeah. that in the comments. I can't lie, Kula Valley's not doing it, bruv. For nah, me you, personally, nah, he's looking like that. Kurt Zuma to me right now. But nah. we, we just have no, to see. No, 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 no. We just have to see, bro. No, I'll be honest, he's not really looking much. like the guy, but nah. it is what it is, isn't it? Because Wolves couldn't score some... in a brothel anyway, bro. Like I swear they're one of the most impotent teams in the league. Yeah, they are. So they are. They are. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's all of a bit of mad thing, but nah, bruv, man can't deny that Chelsea are looking better. Like, mm. they're looking better. So mm. it's going to be interesting to see, like, how they kick on. Mm. Or if 100%. they kick on. Because I still think the attacking areas is what's going to cost you this season. And I think that's what could cost us this season. That's why I think um, Man United and Chelsea, I look at these two teams, out of all the teams, I think our attack... Our attack is what concerns me about both teams, bruv. Because when what's, I look at Chelsea... What's your top four looking like? See, it depends, bro. It Arsenal. depends, bro. It depends on what Tottenham do, because Tottenham have one of the best attacks in the league. And Tottenham keep shithousing points at the moment. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Even though they're not playing well. And yeah. Tottenham have Richarlison, Son, um, Kane and um, Kulisevsky, bro. So that changes everything, because I think that they could get the goals needed, even if they're not playing well. Man City make top four. Do you know what I mean? Arsenal should make top four, but it's very hard to know right now because mm. I think if they get a few injuries, I don't know what happens. Yeah, Do you know I what agree. I mean? I, I don't know what happens yet with Arsenal, bro. It's very it's very hard because based on history, Arsenal <laughs> always have, have a bad spell and it mm. tends to be at the business end of the season <laughs> when they're meant to win games, isn't it? So yeah, yeah, because yeah. of that, I can't firmly... Back Arsenal, yeah. Like if they yeah. keep their eleven, then yeah. If you, they keep their eleven, there, if Jesus in the party, if they yeah. go, then yeah, I get you. It's, it's, if it Arsenal work, have yeah. Jesus fit all season, mm. I think they get top four. Do you know mm. what I'm saying? If they lose him for a prolonged period of time, I think they're in trouble. I think if they lose Saliba for a little bit, they're in trouble. And I think if they lose Party for a little bit, they're in trouble. Them three players, I don't think that they can spine. They, yeah, them three players are a big problem for them. It's the same with Man United. If we lose, if we lose Martinez for a certain amount of time, mm. it ruins it ruins the way we play, bruv. Like, do you know what I mean? It's a problem for us in terms of midfield. I don't, not no one really has, has Casemiro become crucial yet. He's not really crucial yet, is he? Casemiro. I think he's cementing his place now. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. He's played the last two games. Played well last game, and the managers come out saying that his adapt his adaptation process is going to plan. Um, mm. So that will be good. Do you know what I mean? Um, and then with Man United, we already know we can't rely on Tony um, Martial at the moment because he keeps getting injured. But even so, do you know what I mean? If we can keep Rashford fit, mm. then it's not really that much of an issue. Do you know what I'm saying? We can just keep plugging away, bruv. Do you know what I mean? So, and Anthony's got a very good injury record, really. Do you know what I mean? And he's what, becoming very important for the team. What's happened to him? Is he how long is he out for now? Or, not long, that, not long oh, at all. Not long at all. He said the manager said it's not it's not long term, but he at all. He said long term injuries are Wan Bissaka, Harry Maguire, and Donny Van de Beek. But he just said that yo, like he's in constant um communication with Tony and they're managing it. I think he rushed Tony back too soon. I think he shouldn't have started him in that game. He should have brought him on again. I think mm -hmm. Tony needs a run of games coming off the bench. Yeah. Before he goes straight back into the eleven, but the manager loves him. Do you know mm. what I mean? So yeah. it's just one of them things. But I just think when I look at Chelsea's attack, yeah, like Pulisic, I rate, but he's inconsistent. Ziyech, I don't know what I feel about him. Um, Aubameyang, I don't think he is the answer. And then what? Raheem Sterling is a good footballer, but in a system where he's not going to get loads and loads and loads of chances, he's not going to give you that Man City output. He's not mm. going to give you that. When I look at your attack, I think that your attack, yeah, is what concerns me. And it's the same with us. Like, if Martial's not fit, Ronaldo cannot lead the line for the season. Mm. He can't. He, just, he don't have the facilities. Yeah. No, I, I get you. Make no mistake. Like, even though we're scoring goals, I don't mm. want us to suddenly think that everything's perfect and that, oh, we don't need to go and sign another <clears throat> winger in, in, in the window and we don't need to look at the... I mean, Nkuku seems to be the striker that's coming in, so that seems to be really um, one player coming in there, but I think I think Ziyech, I agree with you. I think Ziyech for me is seemingly on his way out in January. He's not getting any game time. He's not, and I don't. I'm not really surprised because we're trying to play at a, at a high tempo, and I think Ziyech 
tends to want to play at his own tempo a lot of the time. Um, although I do think the one-touch football, you know, could suit him. It, he played at Ajax a bit, but yeah, I don't know with him. 